Hello everybody, this is Alexandre here from Angel Cartomancy with another Lenormand uh, lesson or tutorial as you would like to call it. So we have been discussing uh, in my recent uh, Grand Tableau course uh, about the, the court cards or the royal cards in the uh, Lenormand deck. Uh, as you've seen in the Lenormand card you have actually the image, the central image, the number of the card, and you have here um, a card insert, a plain card insert. So these uh, cards are from 6 to 10, plus the court cards, which are the king, the queen, and the jack. So there is no knight here, like uh, in the traditional tarot. It's, you know, the piquet game, and these are the, the plain cards insert. So, what we're going to discuss is that uh, many have asked me uh, how can we use these inserts uh, in a reading and I'm going to teach you today how to use this or explain to you how it works when you will do a reading and there is all these uh, code card symbol appearing in a, in a reading. So first thing is when you ask a question, let's the most uh, common question is about love, about a couple. So see if there is like, you know, a couple like the, the bouquet and the, and the lilies here that has the king and the queen of spades. So this may be a couple. And we see these two as widows in, uh, in the picky game for divination. So it can near the, the coffin card, it can show a man that had just, you know, lose his partner or his wife. Okay. And uh, when you are asking as well for the gender, I really it really works with the gender when someone is pregnant, will I get a, a son or a daughter? So oftentimes you will, in, in your reading, when you pull the cards, there is no clue on, you know, the answer, is, is this a boy or this, this is a girl from the symbol itself. Then you refer to the... Uh, the code cards. So if you have more masculine card, which is the the kings, les rois, and the jacks, uh, les valets, these are more masculine figure. And the queens, les reines, are more of a feminine, uh, feminine aspect. But it can sometimes show also that this person has some feminine aspect. And you can use as well the meanings of the tarot from the court cards, the spades will be the uh, the the sword. Sorry, the diamonds will be the um, the pentacles. The clubs will be the wands, and the heart, of course, will be the cups because it's all about emotion. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you about each card, each uh, aspect of the card. We're going to start with the family of the heart. So these, by the way, are my uh, new uh, Gitana Lenormand. It's uh, like, you know, or a gypsy theme with them. So the King of Heart is more about, you know, a loving man. It's a man with fair skin. Uh, it's someone who is uh, loving, caring, and always work for his family and his emotion. He always likes to protect people from harm, so it's no wonder. There is this attribution here to the house because the house card is also about comfort uh, of your four walls, feeling at home, feeling secure, and it's also your your basement, you know, your foundation. So this is the the king of heart. The and uh, what I would like to add as well is these court cards can represent people in your life. Uh, for instance, when I see the stork in a reading, when I'm doing my family reading. I want to know if uh, everything is okay, everyone is all right, and what we can expect. If I see the king of heart when my father was still alive, I will know that this is my father. And the king, the, the queen of heart, the stork, is my mother. Because the queen of stork is someone who is, who, who is very mothering. This is someone who really cares for... Uh, the well-being of everyone, not only her children, but also her partner. She is their soulmate. She is the mother that everyone wants to have. Okay, she feed her little ones and she 
take care of the nest, removing all the the dirt and uh, and all these things. So this will be my mother. So if there is someone around you that has the same attribute as the stork, it can be, you know, these people. Uh, the heart is, I call it the fiancé card, <laughs> because the jack of heart, in, in when, I, when, I, when I was doing, uh, I still do, uh, reading with the playing cards, I will see the jack of heart as someone who is going to propose to you. This is the true soulmate, someone who is very, very loving and caring, who really wants you to be the queen of his heart. And same thing here, with no wonder we, sh we see the heart of the Lenormand attributed to uh, the Jack of Hearts. So this is the first uh, family. Then we move to the diamonds, okay? So the diamonds card are more, these are people that are not really close to the family. The hearts are people who are in your family line. It can, you can share uh, blood, uh, blood ties, you can share, you know, um, uh, it can be siblings, it can be mother, father, grandmother, grandfather, very close family. Whereas the diamonds are more of people who are more stranger, I will say. It can be people that are that are from the family, but people who live abroad or people who doesn't really that close with family. Because the, the diamond person are more uh, attracted to work. They want to... Uh, rule the enterprise. They are uh, oftentimes, you know, um, entrepreneur, self-employed. They really want to navigate their ship by their own, and they really like to swim in different waters, like the king here with the fish of the Lenormo. The king of diamond is someone who can be strain a stranger, someone living abroad, a foreigner, uh, someone who had visit many, many, many places. And this is someone who really is clever when it comes to uh, entrepreneurship, into building uh, a project, into um, starting uh, an enterprise. So this is the king of diamond. It can be a boss as well. The queen of diamond is someone who is always making decisions. This is why she is the roads, the path or the crossroad uh, in the Lenormand. The, king of Diam uh, the Queen of Diamond is someone who doubt herself very much because she always looks for the best decision. She is always, you know, um, she's, when, he, when she takes a decision, she thinks that it's the best. And then she, you know, second guess herself and try to find another decision with, which is better. So it can be someone who run, up, uh, run after opportunities, someone who is always in dilemma, and someone who can also play the victim. But anyway, the Queen of Diamond is someone who is very, very clever. She's very clever. She runs on many roads. She has many escape door. So if someone in your family appears to be the Queen of Diamond, beware because she's not that, you know, that kind. The next one is the scythe, and it's the Jack of Diamond. So the Jack of Diamond is a young person who can be, you know, uh, how can I say this in a clear English? So this is someone that can be actually um, a novice. It can be someone who tries many things. It can be someone also with a sharp um a sharp, uh, a sharp side. This is someone who is not with family. This is someone who is detached. Someone who really, really is, you know, it can be someone cold as well. And this is someone who never stays at the same place for long. He is always wanting to restart his life, restart uh, uh, things around him. So beware because uh, sometimes you can be his victim. And he doesn't have a self judgment, you know. He he all he only actually uh, decide for his highest best, no matter what. So then we move to the clubs. So the king of clubs is someone who is dark skin. Okay, it is someone who is quite confused. It is someone who actually can be dreaming. 
Uh, it can be also someone who, um, uh, someone, uh, how can I tell, tell that? Someone who wear beers. It can be someone who, as he, you know, he wears, he wears a sword. It can be someone who decide, but sometimes in the wrong way. So it can put himself or other people in confusion. So you, if this is someone around you, you must not really, you know, take his advice uh, into consideration because he's himself lost. He can't help anyone. And uh, like the clouds shape shift, this person is very moody, very lunatic. He can be bipolar, like we say in, uh, in English. He can, you know, be suddenly great joy and then fall into like depression or, you know, these kind of things. The queen of clubs is the snake very dangerous card again here this is someone who uh the queen of uh of clubs is someone who has uh not dark skin but really tanned skin i often see her as wearing long dark hair or long silky hair this is someone who really paid great attention to her look to the way that she looks, to the impression that she uh, she gave. She is someone who's very dangerous. This is, you know, a resourceful woman and you will really need to pay attention and she has a very, very sharp, sharp tongue. So she can, you know, gossip and put you into uh, some kind of turmoil or worry. So pay attention. The jack of clubs is someone who repeats his action. This is someone who always is looking for a lesson to learn or an experience to make. I see the jack of clubs as someone who is novice, someone who is starting in life as well. Um, it is someone who is young. The impression of young is very important here. And this is someone who is athletic, vigorous, it can be someone who make, you know, multiple sport. And this is someone who is very sexy and very attractive. But here you, you must pay attention to the cards around him because the jack of clubs can be, na can, seems to be naive, but he knows his world and he knows his lesson. And he is someone who is, you know, he has a very strong sexual attraction, sex appeal, as we call it. So pay attention to this. So if you're asking a question about, um, this is, is it my soulmate and you have the Jack of Club? This may not be the, the kind of soulmate you are thinking about. This is more of a sex partner than someone uh, different from the Jack of Hearts. Someone who really wants to marry you and love you and make you the queen of his heart. So last and not least, the family of spades. Okay, so like I said, the king and queen are more of, you know, someone who are divorced, someone who are lonely. It can be someone who uh, is a widow, someone who had been experiencing some kind of, of, um, of lost. Okay, so the king is someone who is very patient, very, very, very patient. He knows where, when to take decision. He doesn't rush into things, even if sometimes you, you, it seems like you're always, you know, telling yourself, oh, why don't he decide now? He knows when it is the, the, the right time. You can't force the king of swords or the king of spades to do something that he doesn't want. He's very, very patient. It can be, uh, I also see him as someone who is old, older than you. Uh, it can be a grandfather, it can be uh, a mentor, it can be also uh, the man of law, like, you know, a judge or advocate or this kind of thing, or a lawyer. So the king is a great card to have when uh, he is your ally. <laughs> it's the, when you, you know, when, when, I'm, uh, when I'm being asked about a law sort or a law question, I am so happy when I see the, the lilies or the king of, of spades coming up because I know that things are going to be fair. 
because you know you can't uh like i said force him to do something that he doesn't want to so the queen of a spade also is someone who is very patient as well um she is someone who had been you know through difficult time and um she is someone who actually likes beautiful things like the bouquet no no wonder she is someone who really you know pay attention to uh her look she is more discreet than the the snake or the queen of clubs they they are sisters they both have dark skin they do, they both have silky hair but in the attitude they are very different she is more diplomatic and elegant and wise and seducing you know but in the good way and the queen of uh, clubs is more of you know wanting to charm you and to bite you afterwards you know it's like a vampire who want to compel you to do something and then they will feed on you so the last card is the child so this is quite a challenging card because in cartomancy the jack of spades is you know something which speaks about rapidity it's also about betrayal it's about enemy bad person and here it's you know for the influence of the child there is a like a change you know so this aspect of being you know um uh cunning is more you know more present here it's more of someone who is mischievous uh someone who acts like um a child uh who has malice in, in his eyes so here you know the child card is about this uh, innocent aspect of the of the other uh of the jack of spades and i also think that this card is when the jack of spades was very young you know before being influenced and and put into the negativity of the spade card so yeah so here you have your um your cards regarding the the royal suit or uh the court cards so you can use this in different manner like i said um i you know i name people with these cards i know that i am the man that uh, my wife is the woman that my mom is the store that my son is the child that the heart is my best friend you know and i know you know each people in my family has an attribution you know good or bad it doesn't you know uh it it doesn't count and you can recognize them when you're doing a reading and you will see all these people uh on your table so hope you have been enjoying this little lesson with me and that it will inspire you inspire you to do some um experiment and try it out so you're free to share it with people and yeah tell me what do you think about this and how you try it and how it had uh, responded to your question and to your situation so till next time i send you love light and blessing and talk to you very soon